everybody, welcome back to part five of How to Start a Band. I do want to tell you real quick, I started to record something really cool for you yesterday off-site. Um, I was going to go in a park and, and do all this part of it. However, I took this GoPro with me and uh, two different things happened. It started raining, so I couldn't do anything outside. It's raining today. I was hoping it wasn't going to rain. I was going to take you to the park and do this last episode of How to Start a Band. And then when I went to two different sports bars to try to, one of them was too busy. So we're going to try a library club for now. I might be busy for the game. Nope. Library is way too crowded. The game was too loud. And then when I recorded on this GoPro without another mic, uh, it was just, there was nothing that was really usable on it. So I have to <laughs> redo this right now in the studio. However, what I wanted to talk to you today is about picking a name for your band. That's always a very interesting, kind of awkward, and sometimes uncomfortable phase. It's hard to pick out a good name because one, not everybody can figure out the same name that they want. Sometimes you'll have one guy who's like, oh, I really love this name and it's a terrible name and nobody else wants it, but they're really set on it. And sometimes you, you think that your name's the best and to you it might be, nobody else might like it. So it's, that goes back and forth. So probably one of the most diplomatic things to do is kind of like when I talked to you a few shows ago about picking songs that you all want to do if you're going to do cover songs. The same thing would apply to names. Everybody should probably pick out at least two or three names and uh, put those in a hat. Maybe you can put, put them in a hat, somebody picks them. Maybe you have like a third party, pick them. Maybe you pick the three of the best out of a hat and then somebody decides on that. You wanna make sure that it's a very good representation of what you guys are like. If you're like a big, heavy death metal band, you don't necessarily wanna be called the Pink Daisies, but of course that might be kind of funny if you're a death metal band. So you have to think about that. A few other things to think about is what it's going to look like in print. If, you're, if any of you are graphically inclined to like start making logos with the new band names, potentially might look like, that would kind of help because when you actually see that, it's like, well, maybe that's not really a good name. Maybe it's too long, maybe it's too short. So besides the sound of the name, besides the way it represents you and besides the look of the, the text, you might want to consider a logo and what that's going to look like or what it could look like with that name. Um, that logo would go on shirts that you might want to sell. It might go on stickers. It might go on your, your gig bag. It might go on the, uh, the bass drum head uh, over like a, a canvas behind you or something like that that you put up for shows on any kind of on your custom guitar picks. I've got custom guitar picks from my other bands that I would have my, our logo on or our name. So think about that kind of thing. If it's a super long name, it might not fit the right way. It might be represented funny, and you might not be able to come up with a really good logo for that. So those are different things to think about. And if all else fails, you can also go to bandnamegenerator.com. I think that's it, or bandnamegenerator, just Google it. You can just put like one name in there and like put other two or three other names with it that may sound kind of like a weird band. Uh, um, you can put no names in there, just have it randomly generate things. Sometimes you can get some cool ideas, or at least the, like a format of something. So, well, this, this one particular doesn't sound good, but something like that might be kind of cool. So maybe we can use that. So let me know what you thought. Let me know if you have any cool band names that you've had in the past. I've, I'll have a list in the bottom of some of the crazy names that I've uh, either run across of my friends' bands or my bands um, that we and how we came across those names. Um, so let me know what you thought, what your band's name is, what uh, what are some crazy some of the craziest band names you've heard of before. And uh, next week I'll start talking about. Uh, I'm going to talk about next week. Next week, I think I'm going to start talking about getting gigs and where to get gigs and how to get gigs. So until then, you guys have a great weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Rock on.